Good morning, happy Mother's Day. It is early in the morning, Sunday morning, and I am fixing breakfast. I've already got uh, a pot of coffee made and a big old pan of bacon. I just took it out of the oven. I baked the Wright's thick cut bacon on 350 for, I think it was 30 minutes uh, until it's about done. And now I'm going to put together a French toast casserole so the girls can eat bacon and French toast casserole before we go to church today. So I'm just unwrapping a couple of sticks of butter, of course. How we cook around here. Um, I'm gonna melt those on top of the stove, add about a cup, cup and a half of sugar, something like that. And I'm making like a caramel sauce to put at the bottom of the casserole dish. Be right back. Already had the pot hot up, uh, heating up, so it's sizzling a little bit. Gonna melt that butter, and so, um, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, and I'm gonna put a rounded cup of sugar in those two cups of butter. I mean, two sticks of butter. Okay, a cup and a half of sugar is what I did. Two sticks of butter, and I'm gonna pour some <coughs> maple syrup in there uh, right when it gets good and melted, make it like a sauce, and I'll pour that in the bottom of a casserole dish. And now I'm fixing to cut up that bread. <clears throat> this is just an Italian loaf of bread that I picked up at Walmart. I thought we was gonna have pasta one night this week and we didn't. And so it was just in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna cut it up and make a casserole out of it for breakfast. Can't use that thing. With my knife. That's my favorite knife. I've had this since me and Tony got married. <coughs> it keeps it sharp for me. So this loaf of bread, I'm just gonna cut this up in like little bite-sized cubes. I love the smell of bread. I miss bread. But it does not do well uh, in my little tummy pat. First of all, it's carbohydrates, and I'm trying to stay away from them. But uh, when I eat bread, I don't feel good. And I'm a year and a half out after having VSG weight loss surgery. It just, uh, I don't know if it blows up in my stomach or what the deal is, but well, I'm not going to put that in there yet. I guess I should have done the egg mixture first. The egg mixture is about six eggs, a couple of cups of milk, and what kind of seasoning you want. I'm gonna put a little cinnamon in it. I'm not putting a whole lot of cinnamon because, um, because this is mainly for the girls. I'm going to um, put chocolate chips in this French toast casserole. That way Kirksey will eat it. She's my middle, my middle little granddaughter. She's 10 and she likes chocolate quite a bit. Excuse me, I got a runny nose this morning. I, I'm off my allergy medicine. I've gone off everything. Um, not doing no spray. This is the last two of my farm fresh eggs right here. Oh, got a shell in there. Got to dig it out. Mom ever teach you to dig out a piece of a shell with another shell? It kind of slices through it, gets it out. 
So anyway, there's two. Somebody's up. I heard the door. Three. Four. Always have me a sink of dishwater made up, hot water, soapy water, because you know you're always getting something on your on your hands, you know. Here, let me get me a little swig of coffee. Yummy. Here's my favorite whisk. Everybody got a favorite whisk? These kind of eggs I use if I don't have the farm fresh kind. I'll set that over here and put it in in a minute. Let's see. I'm gonna pour a little dollop of syrup in these eggs too. Love dollop syrup, that's good. Let's see what else, some milk. I'll measure it just because y'all looking at me. So, six eggs, dollop of syrup. We'll do, I think about two cups. One, two, two cups of milk, and let's put some cinnamon, just a little bit. I don't know if everybody likes that too good. We're gonna whip that up real good. women bowl. It's perfect for this. I love this. This is Ashley's. Anyway, six eggs, two cups of milk, cinnamon, and some syrup. And I would put vanilla flavoring in it, but I used it all yesterday in the banana pudding, so I don't have any. And I didn't go back to the store. Who cares? It'll be good with that. It won't even be able to tell. Okay. Now I got all these cubes of bread. Put that down in there. Start up that butter and um, butter and sugar mixture, and I put a little dash of salt in there. Um, I'm just letting it melt. I normally use brown sugar, but I can't find it. I don't. I know I got a bag. It was in my cart at Walmart. I must not made it home with it, or somebody put it up, and I can't find. It. So I didn't use brown sugar, it's just regular old sugar. If I had a thought to do this last night, the bread would have had time <coughs> to absorb all this good. I, I guess you could say, I, I guess it's a custard, right? When you make French toast. Good morning. I got a pot of coffee made. Right there. Just got behind me. That's all right, I'm filming, but maybe Brentling cut it out or whatever. If not, you'll just be on film. I just made that. It just clicked off. So, it's fresh. Okay, so that bread is absorbing all that yummy goodness. We'll let that sit there for a minute. Here. 
I'll show you the syrupy stuff. Here, it, it's supposed to be making like a caramel sauce, but like I said, I don't have brown sugar. I just use white sugar. Here's that bacon, big old pan of bacon. And got the oven preheating on 350, which it's already hot because I uh, cooked that bacon. So I just left it on and then I decided to whip this up. So I'm gonna pour this in the bottom of that. And I just sprayed that with some olive oil spray so it's not such a booger to clean up, you know? Like up here if I can get it situated. I need one of them holders, them tripod things. Brad made a mess. And let's see. I'm gonna pour some more of this hair maple syrup. Since I don't have brown sugar, I'm gonna pour some of that in that butter sugar mixture to make the soft stuff that's gonna make the back, bottom of the casserole dish taste better. <clears throat> just did like a couple tablespoons, not much. So this is almost make like a caramel sauce or maple sauce or whatever. And it'll go down in that, the bottom of the casserole dish. And then the egg bread mixture will go on top of it and I'll bake it for about 30 minutes. And it's gonna be good. Girls will love it. So, that's what it looks like, can you tell? Can you see that? I think the sugar's about dissolved. So here we go, bottom of the nine by 13. eggy bread mixture. Show you that. And I'm going to put that on top. about having a big old good bowl like this for mixing the darn thing's heavy especially if you get it full okay so that's empty now i'll we'll let hot water run in that hang on i gotta get the chocolate chip mini morsels, 12 halves. How many's in here? 20 ounces. I'll use about half a bag. I got it hot in here. Of course, I have a robe on because I'm on camera because I got on here yesterday and the freaking babies ain't looked about half naked. So, I decided to put a robe on. quite use half a bag. I just sprinkle some on top and after it bakes and it comes out, this is what it looks like. Um, I just put the chocolate chips on there and fix and stick it in the oven. 350 for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna look at it. Um, but you can tell it's good and juicy, you know. But when it comes out and it cools for just a little bit, I'll sprinkle powdered sugar all over it. So hang on just a sec. Are y'all as nuts when you open up a baggie or something do you have to put it in another baggie that seals <clears throat> i'm scared to death of attracting bugs or mice or something like that and that would freak me out 
So this goes in the baking cabinet for next time. I am fussing at Alexa. I done, oh, oh shoot, she gonna turn on again. I done told her to turn off twice and she kept blabbing. So anyway, timer went off, fix to take it out of the oven. It smells like chocolate chip pancakes in here. Oh, be careful getting this thing out because this is like molten lava. You see that right there? It look good, don't it? You can't see, can you? Ashley, come here and be my film, film girl. Hang on a second. And sprinkle some of this powdered sugar on it. Make it look pretty. Makes you smink. See, this reminds me of something that like you get at the um, Pancake Pantry in Nashville, Tennessee. Or in Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge at the Log Cabin. You know, that's probably good enough. Anyway, there you go. French toast casserole with chocolate chips. Bacon. Happy Mother's Day.